bottle, look at the bottle. <gasps> it cracked it. What's up guys, we are back. I'm Grant Thompson, the king of random. And I'm Lance Stewart. And today we are playing with science. Yes. What are we doing today, Lance? I have no idea, something's gonna explode, he apparently. No he has no idea, but you guys remember this thing. We did a experiment a little while ago where you asked us to try and make carbonated drinks with dry ice, and we did it, and we used apple juice to turn it into that sparkling cider, which is amazing. We kept the bottle for this experiment today. So here's how it's gonna work. Lance, my friend, is gonna take some water. We're gonna put a little bit of water in each of these bottles here. We're also using this uh, Nantucket Nectars from his friend Aiden, who uh, <laughs> happily donated to the cause today. And we're gonna just stick these things in the microwave for about two minutes. What that's gonna do is let the water heat up until it's boiling. Yeah. What we're going for Lance is we're gonna create steam. The steam's gonna fill the bottles. We're gonna take it out of the microwave, turn it upside down, and stick it into this bowl of water right here just to see what happens. Let's check it out. Cool, all right Lance, this is the part where we put our gloves on for safety, glasses on for safety. So the reason we're using two different bottles is because of the shapes and sizes of them. Obviously this is a lot bigger. The necks are about the same, but we're gonna see how they react differently with the steam. Starting off with the NNN, whatever juice this is, we're just gonna pour a little bit of water in there. It doesn't take much because when water turns to steam, it increases in volume dramatically. Now what we're gonna do is take this bottle, we're gonna stick it in the microwave for two minutes, and we're gonna vaporize most of that water. So we do that next. Let's do it. Two minutes, please, and you can just set the bottle on its side. Uh, our microwave already had like a little bit of destruction, a little bit of a mess from like previous experiments. Let's put it in there for two minutes. I'm gonna put a little ice in this bowl just to cool it down a little bit because the colder we can get the water, the faster the reaction is gonna take place. And Lance is wondering what kind of reaction are we talking about? No idea. What is gonna happen? I guess that's what we gotta see. It's gonna explode in my face probably. Oh yeah, I think that's ready. So guys, our time is up. What Lance is gonna do now is open the microwave. He's gonna grab the bottle, bring it over here, pour out any excess water so the bottle is completely empty. Then dunk it down below the water line so it's underneath the ice. Hold it very firmly in place, and we're gonna wait. All right, let's try it out. There you go, perfect. Ready? Oh, hold it up a little bit. Whoa. Whoa, it sucked all of it up. That was pretty cool. That was quick. As the steam condensed, the water went up to fill the bottle. I think we can make it a little more dramatic though. There's a couple things we can do differently. Let's do the same thing again, but this time, we're not gonna press it down to the bottom, because when you have it against the bottom, it's gonna restrict the flow. Yeah. And second of all, I think it's gonna be a really good idea to remove this label so we can, so we can see actually more of it. see what's going on. It was on. literally just like a complete vacuum. Homemade vacuum cleaner. All right, that should be enough time. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. So we're going for round two. We've nuked this bottle again. It's full of steam. This time when we put the bottle down into the water, it's gonna go just below the surface. It's not gonna to touch the bottom. You're just gonna hold it in place. Let's try it out. Go for it. Hot stuff, hot stuff. Now hold it at the top here. There you go. Boom. Whoa, that's so hot, but that is sick. It takes a couple seconds, but it just it completely sucks it all up. That's very cool. And do you see how it like filled the entire bottle? Yeah, it goes all the way to the edge. So that's the power of like how you can use steam to create a vacuum. So now that we know that it works with this bottle, what do you think would happen if we tried it with this bottle? Could we get it to fill entirely? Any difference? Do you think it would fill entirely or do you think it will fill like most of the way but not all the way? Do you think it will not fill at all? Does it depend how much water we put in there as well to begin with? That's no. a good question. What if we only put a tiny bit of water in there? What's your prediction? If we only put that much water in there. I still think it's gonna fill entirely. Let's give it a try. Okay, so guys, that last one was kind of cool, right? I mean, yeah, you put the bottle in it, fill it with water, nothing super dramatic. You know, Lance is over here, he's like, big deal. Like, what are we doing? Is this gonna be the dramatic? I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. I I'm getting a hint that it might be. <laughs> All right, here we go, moment of truth. That is hot stuff. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Ooh! <laughs> Look, we even, it even a, sucked up the ice. We got a couple ice cubes in there as well. That was quick. How fast was that? That was really quick. That's a little bit more what I was expecting, guys. So it seems like the longer you nuke these things, the hotter it gets, the quicker the reaction takes place. I mean, look at that. That jar went from zero to full in point, point zero three six seconds. <laughs> if we spin it, we can get a little tornado effect. Oh, that's dope too. That's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, that was, was awesome. Was that a little bit more? Way better. 
Lance Stewart worthy? <laughs> yes. Now, a couple years ago, I had a friend called Darren Dyke come over with a slow motion camera. We tried this with one of these like gallon apple juice containers. We actually filmed it in 4,500 frames per second so we could see what was happening. And even at that frame rate, it happened so quickly, we couldn't see the transition point between when the water started and when it filled the whole jar. That is insane. It literally, like what's happening is the steam in here is contracting so fast that it's sucking up the water, which cools down more steam. And it's like this self-perpetuating cycle. It's almost like an explosive reaction. So um, let's throw this in the microwave one more time for Mr. Lance Stewart. I want to give you this experience personally. Yeah, let me try it. I feel like it's going to suck. It, like it looked like it sucked your hand all the way in. Yeah, it was like, it you got to you you hang on to it tight because it's like, whoosh, yeah, it's time like for a ride. So the key it looks like is to put it in the microwave a little bit longer. We're doing this one for four minutes to get that water super heated. You know this stuff's getting ready when the bottle starts jumping in the microwave, like the water starts exploding? Yeah, you can hear it rolling in there. Very, very dangerous situation and it's a very, very good sign. Because <laughs> that's exactly what we're looking for. Oh yeah, it's boiling. You can see it popping up. Yeah, steam. Three, two, one, let's do it. <laughs> okay. The whole thing turned. Like it pulled at me. It's you, it like, you shot backwards, yeah. the bolt jumped over it. And it's a good thing I didn't step back or else I wouldn't be able to go outside in public with any kind of dignity because oh uh, my gosh. that was like all over waist level there. <laughs> it's dripping everywhere. I gotta clean this up. All the neighbors down below are like, what the heck? It's raining. <laughs> We're gonna do one more experiment of this with the slow mo for you guys. Let's see how this looks. Here we go. Oh! Here we go again! Look at the bottle, look at the bottle, look at the bottle. It cracked it. Whoa, I wasn't strong enough to hold it. And it just like slammed it down on the counter and busted. Okay, well we're gonna call that good because I'm not doing that again. Yeah, the whole bottle's cracked. Look at that, wow, okay. <laughs> you can just see the steam rising out. Oh, wow. I was not strong enough to hold that. It literally ripped the bottle right out of my hand, slammed it into the countertop and busted it. That's insane. So, is this one of those experiments you try at home? No, this is one of those experiments you try at Lance's home. Hey. Well guys, big thanks to Lance Stewart for letting us crash his place today and try a little mad science out here on Vine Street. And uh, you can go check him out in the links down in the description. I'll put a link, he does daily vlogs and he's yeah. always getting up to some pretty crazy stuff. What do you want these guys to know about you, Lance? So for example, me and Grant just filled our bodies with gases and see how they react in our body. And the one made my voice like super crazy. It was almost like demonic sounding. So, you guys can go check the link in the description. Uh, go check out Lance Stewart, he's got good times for you. And thanks again for joining us for this experiment, guys. We'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Pouring water looks so science when you're wearing gloves and safety glasses, right?